Have you heard of Kitson at all in Los Angeles? I've heard of Kitson. You have? Have you been inside the stores? I've been inside of, I think, I think it was a Kitson. Some of these places, some of these, uh, maybe I'm going to reveal my thoughts on it, but some of these uh, annoying ass places, I walk into and I get them all confused. I don't know the difference, but I believe, I definitely know of their clothes. I'm not sure if that was the store I went into. Kitson reminds me of Urban Outfitters because mm -hmm. they have those books that like you're so tempted to pick up and read, mm -hmm. like celebrities poop, cutest dog. So now, they are getting sued, JR. They're getting sued. For some of their apparel, I For assume? some of their apparel, uh, uh. we have the picture. So I can't tell if this is NFL or NHL because both sports, both of the respective sports, have big letters like that. Yeah. So it could be made for either one. However, you see Xanax, Adderall, and Vicodin. All of those companies are suing Kitson. The Adderall rep had this to say, we had no involvement, nor do we approve of the sale of such a product using Adderall to glorify the misuse of our product, which is exactly what Kitson is doing. Vicodin said prescription drug use should not be trivialized. It is a serious issue, and we will be taking legal action to stop the clothing company from trying to sell such a product. And then Lindsay Lohan had this dumbass tweet, probably late to the party, but love your new line. Xanax, Adderall, and Vicodin don't give a fuck about the misuse of their product and the glorification in sports oh, and all that. Oh, I can't believe that you put Adderall on your back and now you're glorifying You expect them players. not to react to shit no, like no. this though? But the reason they react is not because they give a shit. I, I, just, I just hate the false care that they put out. You have to give a shit if you're well, reacting and about to sue. You have. You give, have? Give them half. No, but yeah. why they're suing is not because they care about our, our youth wearing the t-shirts and or wearing the jerseys and thinking that at the misuse of our product is a fun, glorifying thing. No, you give a fuck because they're making money off your name, which is fine, but say it. I, which I thought one of them did actually get truthful and say, we don't want you making money off of our name. We want to make the money off of our name, which you have the right to do. It's your name and it's your product. But don't you think act they don't like care? you give a shit about what they're doing. You think they don't care at all how people are misusing their product Please. as long as they buy it? If, yeah, if, if they were worried about the they misuse... They gotta look out for number one, though. Yeah, that's the money, which is what they're doing. It has nothing to do with the misuse of the product. So is it going to go away? Why, out of anything, why would they care then? Why would out, of they anything, care? out of anything, Kitson's doing them free promotion. No, but Kitson's making money. These, these, are, these are capitalists talking. They're, yeah, you give us free promotion, All right, I guess. but you're making money off? You make a dollar without us getting that 90 cents of that dollar? <laughs> Get out of here. Brian Lichtenberg, who decided to uh, come up with this design, had this to say. Let's read his statement really quickly. I've created a collection of t-shirts that are a parody of pop culture. This particular collection of prescription tees is simply a commentary on what I see happening in our society. What parties are you going to, man? Call it what you may, but art in all forms is created off of pop culture. Art is such a complex word. And the social situations that surround it. A large percentage of Americans are prescribed these drugs by doctors every day for legitimate reasons. These are not illegal substances. These tees are not meant to encourage prescription drug abuse. But if they open the door... Okay, but if they open the door to a much needed dialogue as they seem to be doing now, then I can't, I can't, re I'll just cut it Mission off right there. Accomplished. Leave that up for one second. <laughs> uh, what was the line? Uh, a large percentage of Americans have prescribed these drugs by doctors every day for legitimate reasons. These are not illegal substances. These are teas are not, these teas are not meant to encourage prescription drug abuse. Then what the fuck are you encouraging? You're making light of it. You're combining sport with the letter, uh, excuse me, the numbers with Adderall, Xanax, and Vicodin. Mm -hmm. What is he talking about? Like, look, I, I, I got love for your designs. You know, you're, you're, you are an artist in modern day society. I totally understand that. I think I could find art in anything. Mm -hmm. But what are you encouraging then with this? You're, well, they're encouraging kids to go, well, not kids, I'm keep calling them kids, but whoever they're... Uh, they're I would say kids in ranges from like 13 and up. Up that story. Like, you know, I, I feel like it's hipster wear in some ways it is. too, right? Yeah. So, um, I mean, it, they're, they're encouraging the people to buy their product, that's all. It, it, it's not encouraging anything more. I mean, and the people who would buy it, are they avid sports watchers? I didn't know about the whole thing with the misuse and the drug world of these, of the sports world with these particular drugs. I, you told Richard, me about that this Richard morning. Richard Sherman. Yeah, I didn't know about yeah. this story. So, I mean, maybe I'm just unplugged for certain things, but I doubt the, 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 the people at that go, the customers of Kitson know what's going on with the sports world and their misuse of certain drugs. So you know around how, basically around LA, around New York, they have those I Heart LA, I Heart mm -hmm. New York. Oh, so the, are they encouraging hate upon New York and Los <laughs> Angeles? 
I make my point. You know what? Um, there's another thing. I, I believe, I could be wrong, but I thought it was a kitchen shirt as well. But it says, homies, South Central. And people were wearing those. I think I saw that. Right? Yeah. And just some people were annoyed by that. Because then it's going, it's people who have never been to anywhere where anyone calls each other homies. Ab yeah, they most. They know nothing about hood, hood culture or what's in the hood. But then this big company that sells their t-shirts for $50 will just print something and say, homies, I'm a homie, right? And it's annoying. It's annoying. But... There's no corporation that that holds the word word homies right. that can sue them and say you're making money off of, you know, hood culture or whatever you think you're making money off of. It's just and it ends up being a <laughs> see, see I, I'm a I'm a blonde white kid and I don't know anything about homies, but I'm wearing a T-shirt that says homies. Isn't that funny? And it's annoying. Insert but, my Lee Cyrus joke right. here. Yeah, yeah. So then so then after that happens, you, all you can do is get people to go, oh that's annoying, and you move on, which is which is what Adderall, Xanax, and all of them would do if it wasn't a money issue. Yeah, my thing is, last point, if you put a t-shirt on that promotes something, mm -hmm. you, you are basically promoting that. I mean, like, there's, mm -hmm. there was a Bears receiver, I believe, who wore pussy money weed, and he took, like, a picture with a fan, and someone uh -huh. put it up, and then people were like, why is he wearing this? And he was like, I'm, I'm sorry, like, I shouldn't have worn that. But obviously, you know what you're doing. I mean, let's just, let's just keep it real about it.